Hello and welcome back to A Shot of Wildlife. In this video, I'm going to tell you almost everything you need to know about the Sparrowhawk. Now I'm going to start this video with a bit of a disclaimer. Sparrowhawks are a difficult bird to film and are mainly seen when they have caught prey. I won't include anything too graphic, but there will definitely be small birds being eaten in this video. Like a lot of birds of prey, sparrowhawks are sexually dimorphic in that the males and the females appear different to one another. Males are significantly smaller with wingspans of 59 to 64 centimeters and grow into weigh 110 to 200 grams. Females have wingspans of 67 to 80 centimeters and weigh from 185 to 345 grams. Their coloring is different too Adult males have slate grey wings, orange cheeks, and barred orange and white chests and thighs. Females have brown wings, and are barred brown and white over their undersides. Both sexes have yellow feet, and bright coloured eyes, yellow in the females, and orange, sometimes almost red, in males. Juvenile birds look very similar to females, but instead of barring over their undersides, they have a more mottled pattern. Sparrowhawks are typically found in woodlands and forests, but are also now common in parks and other urban areas, sometimes seen hunting into towns and city centres. Their diet is almost entirely made up of birds, but they may occasionally catch and eat bats. They are very agile flyers and surprise their prey in the air before catching them with their feet. They usually eat their prey where they catch it, but can sometimes carry their quarry away if they are disturbed. Males tend to prey on smaller species, such as sparrows, finches, starlings and thrushes, whereas females will also take larger birds, including pigeons, doves, magpies and jackdaws. Only around 10% of their hunting attempts are successful, and they have been recorded as hunting more than 120 different species of bird. Sparrowhawks start nesting in March or April when pairs claim territories and begin the construction of twig platform nests that are lined with flakes of bark. These will usually be in the lower canopies of trees, close to the trunk or in a fork when more than one branch emerges from the trunk. In early May, the pair will lay between three and six eggs at two day intervals. These are cream in colour with darker brown splotches and measure about 4 cm in length. The female incubates these eggs alone for 33 to 35 days and as they are laid at intervals they will also hatch in succession. At first the chicks are covered in a layer of white down and are very dependent on their mother for warmth. The male's sole responsibility during incubation and the first two weeks of the chicks lives is to bring food to the nest for them and their mother. During this time, the female may also leave the nest for short periods to hunt, but only if the male isn't bringing enough food for her already. At around four weeks old, the chicks will have molted into dark adult feathers and will begin to venture away from the nest, usually staying close by whilst they strengthen their wings and gradually learn how to fly and to hunt for themselves. By around 8 weeks old, the chicks are mostly independent. Sparrowhawks will only raise one brood per year, but the same birds may remain together for multiple seasons, especially if they are successful at rearing chicks and holding their territories. Sparrowhawks are found all across the UK, except for some highland areas where there are no trees for them to nest or to roost. They are also resident across Central and Southern Europe in some parts of southern Asia and Japan. In most of Europe, sparrowhawks that breed here don't migrate, but that is not the case over their whole range. Birds from northern Europe and Russia will head south for the colder months, heading to eastern Africa and southern Asia. Alongside being larger than males, females also tend to live longer. Males have an average lifespan of 7-8 to eight years whilst females average around 10 or 11. 
the oldest known wild bird, survive for 20 years and 3 months. Here is an example of a sparrowhawk's call. And there we go. If you enjoyed this video, then you'll probably also like this one here with things you need to know about the house sparrow. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.